Welcome everyone to Belinda's Country Living. I'm Belinda here and I want to welcome all of my YouTube family and friends. I am back from vacation. Yes, I had a wonderful time, even though it was, oh, very chilly there, more than I like. You'd think being in Florida, it, uh, you would have a real good time, I mean, as far as sun and, and warm weather. And it was the same as Indiana weather, so anyway, but I still did have a wonderful time. So today, I went to the food pantry hall. I'm going to turn you around and show you what I was blessed with this week. Okay, we got a bag of onions. We got two boxes of turkey stovetop stuffing. Just in time for Thanksgiving if you use it. But that's also good to mix if you're making homemade dressing. So you can use the, the bread crumbs with your homemade dressing, as I would do, and add um, some bread, some stale bread, and and it really makes good dressing. We got a dozen of eggs, and a jar of nutton butter, peanut butter, creamy. We got a bag of shell walnuts. I think I've got about four bags of walnuts in the freezer yes if you have walnuts you need to freeze these if not they will stale very quickly and may even get some bugs in them got some lentil a bag of lentils we got a bag of rose um sabata Rose, eight count. The expiration date on that was November the 15th. So they're still good. These make nice sandwiches. And you could toast them as well. We got two bags of grapes. And boy, do they look plump. Red seedless grapes. Best kind to have is the seedless. We got a bag of lemons. Now I can make some lemon juice, lemonade out of these. I just had a um, a juicer would make it a much would make it much quicker. But I don't have a juicer, so I'll have to do that by hand. We got a bag of peaches. Now, I found the last time they give these, they're very hard. They're not peaches that you can just cut up and eat. I think they'd be great for making up homemade peach pie or cobbler. That way that cooking them would soften them up some. We got a bag of pumpkin spice cookies. I'm going to take them to Wilma. My 97-year-old friend, she'll enjoy them quite well. Actually, there was another jar of peanut butter. So, I got two jars of peanut butter. We got two cans of red salmon. Red salmon. Oh, great for salmon patties. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got another can of apricots. It must be the, they must have plentiful of uh, apricots because every time you go to the, the pantry, they always give apricots. And we got two cans of mixed fruit. Everybody needs fruit. They make a nice fruit salad. Just add some grapes to it. 
we got two containers of peas. Now this, I think, kind of looks like what they would probably have at the school lunches. And two cans of diced green chilies. Yeah. Okay. Microwavable mac and cheese. Two cans of asparagus. Add some cheese to that or even just open up a can and put some butter. Low sodium. Well, there's another bag of walnuts. So two bags. I'm just about walnut out, let me tell you. I've got a box of taco shells, grain-free, grain-free. Got a bag of stuff puffs, filled marshmallow with chocolate. Okay, and a box of mac and cheese. You know we all ain't gonna go hungry here. And then we got a box of bite size everything crackers with cranberry seed, uh, not cranberry, caraway seeds, garlic onion, poppy seed, and sesame seed. Yeah, put that up on a plate and have a, a homemade cheese ball. That would be good. Yes. And we got a sweet potato pie. Love sweet potato pie. Very good. Expiration date on that was 11-13. So it will still be good. We got two packages of naturally hickory smoked bacon. Yummy, yummy, yummy. In a box and a pack of chicken breasts and all of this meat was frozen so this one this one here feels like it's about thawed out so i'll stick that in the refrigerator we'll fix that this week want to go in the freezer and the chicken breast there's a lot you can do with chicken breast oh yeah Chicken Gordon Blue and, oh yeah, a lot of things you can do with chicken breast. Okay, let's go over here to the table. Look at that beautiful cake there. It's a red velvet. Let's see, oh my goodness. Red velvet chocolate chip. Look at the price of that, $14.00 and 48 cents. The expiration date on that is November the 14th. Still good, y'all. Don't be afraid if it's expired. It's not gonna hurt it one bit. We got an apple pie, and the date on that was 11-13. Still good. Two huge bottles of smart water. And four bottles of Nature's Twist lemonade. And Cheeto popcorn, chatter popcorn. Two large bags. Cinnamon Rose, two Texas. Cinnamon Rose, Nutty Buddy, look at that, okay. oatmeal cream pie, some chocolate donuts, mini donuts, frosted donut sticks, lots of potato chips, Cheetos, Jalapeno, and that's flaming hot. Not for me. We got some fun onions. Funyuns. Onion flavored rings. Funyuns, people. Funyuns. Yes. 
And we got black jewel bitter popcorn. Sweet and salty. Well, that'd be good. We got veggie straws. Sour cream and onion veggies. I wonder if you really would get your your protein from eating them. I don't know. Oh, there's another box of the Black Jewel. We got a bag of cornflakes. It's they're not frosted, but y'all know what to do with that. And if you don't, let me tell you, put that in a blender. Chop them up real super, super fine, and you can use that for a coating for onion rings, um, for chicken, anything you're going to fry, for pork chops. We got a bag of puff, stuff puffs, filled marshmallows. Some Lysol wipes. They also gave this week, yes, because Thanksgiving's coming up, uh, this is a timer when you're, um, let's see, not sure, I guess it's a timer, put it in your turkey, and when your turkey's done, It'll pop open. And then a turkey baster. I I don't use them. I have one that looks like a huge needle. And you just keep filling that up. And then shoot your turkey. Just put that in your turkey. And baste it inside. Keep it very moist when it's cooking. I don't know how you all cook your turkey, but I cook my turkey at night. I cook it for about 250 degrees in the oven overnight. And then when I get up in the next morning, then I turn it up. I baste it and it'll be good and done by the time dinner rolls around. So. I don't know how you all do your turkey, so in your comments below, let me know how you cook your turkey. I was thinking maybe this year, maybe taking the turkey apart, the legs and the wings, and cooking it all separate. Um, I don't know yet, but I do know with me just getting back from vacation, I am going to cook because that's what I'm expected to do every year. I'm just going to do a small dinner. I'll turn you around here. Yeah, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do probably a small dinner. That way I don't have a whole lot of leftovers. And so that is what I was blessed with today. And so, for another video, I'll let you know how my vacation went. I hope you all had a wonderful week. It's glad to be back home. You know, there's no place like home. So, until the next time, hope you all enjoy the video. Hope you're all having a blessed and wonderful day. And remember to always be kind in your words no matter what, bite your tongue. Sometimes it's hard to do, but we just go on with the flow. Till the next time. Bye-bye.